Hello everyone. Thank you for joining for another episode at Investing with All I See is W. So today I wanted to make this video because I wanted to share with you one pick that I feel would add significant value to your investment portfolio. But first, before I begin, I'd like to let you know that all of the content I'm sharing with you today should be used as guidance on information only and you should make your own investment decisions. All right, so let's go ahead and let's get started. So what ticker are we referring to? This is going to be a company that is not based in the United States and I'm going to tell you the advantages as to why we should be tapping outside of the United States for this uh, potential hot pick and that is going to be Singapore Airlines by the ticker name of S-I-N-G-Y and why should we all be considering Singapore Airlines right well to me I've always forecasted, you know, um, the fact that, you know, with the whole COVID-19 impact, we should be forecasting out far out, uh, perhaps to like August. And now we should be in August soon. But I feel like with Singapore Airlines, if or when the economy starts picking up in the international countries, like, for example, in the Asian countries like Singapore, then Singapore Airlines will be picking up because the economy is going to be picking up. And when you think about it, Singapore Airlines is like the only number one company right now in that territory, right? In terms of like movement of like shipment of products and, you know, travel of uh, uh, different people around that country. All right. And uh, one of the main reasons why I feel Singapore Airlines is such a great buying opportunity right now is because of its uh, dividend uh, percentage right now so let's say if you were to buy you know Singapore Airlines right now and if you were to hold on to it long term you will be guaranteed payout of 4.51 percent dividend yields that's you know a little bit lower than AT&T but if you think about it if you invest in a company like Singapore Airlines you basically monopolize the whole entire market in Singapore right because Singapore Airlines is the only main company that drives all of the airlines and the merchandises uh, with businesses so that's one of the reasons why i think singapore airlines is a very good buying opportunity right now right it's it's at it's very low it's it's hovering at around uh, five dollars per share uh just recently uh prior it was like around fifteen dollars but the fact that the dividend yield is uh quite high at this time it's very hard to find you know a, a company that pays you know anything above four percent so if you find something at a low cost and on top of that with the high dividend yield payout then i think that it's a great buying opportunity and this may work for long-term investors because you know as a day trader i don't think this would be the the company that you should be considering but if you're trying to invest big right let's say if you have a big investment then that four to five percent would make a difference in your investment portfolio and you can consider that as a passive income right where you technically just have your money parked and then you continue to receive funds and another benefit would be the fact that the share price actually increases uh beyond the five dollar range so you're not only gaining on the dividends each you know quarter you're also capitalizing on the increase in the share price and then that gives you more flexibility as to whether you want to sell in the long run or you know keep it depending on your own uh, investment strategy all right so i wanted to uh, once again emphasize that you know this might be a great buying opportunity for a uh, ticker s-i-n-g-y with a dividend yield of 4.51 percent and if you look at the United States market right now with the airlines, it's very difficult to, to win unless you're doing like day trades on like American Airlines when, you know, they've taken a big down hit already. You can buy like at nine dollars and, you know, it may shoot up to like twenty dollars like how it did in the prior month. But as a long term investor, you know, Singapore Airlines is a, a high value um, gold company and you're capitalizing on the dividend yields so that's one of the reasons why i think you should you know take that advantage okay it's an international uh, company and singapore airlines is dominating in that arena all right 
So I hope that this video gave you some insight, you know, not only looking at, you know, just the United States stock market, but, you know, tapping outside of our global territory and, you know, looking at uh, future opportunities out there. So uh, thank you again for watching. And if you enjoyed this video, please leave some comments as to why you would think, you know, uh, Singapore Airlines is a good buying opportunity or why it isn't. What is the risk implications? I'm curious. So please uh, feel free to leave your comments and uh, hit the subscribe and like if you uh, enjoy what you're seeing. All right. Well, thank you so much for watching. Investing with all I see is W. Thumbs up.